Hi, I'm John Twist, and I want to show you today something about the Allison Ignitions, which were used on the 75 through 80 MGB midgets as a replacement for the original factory electronic ignition. Danny's going to bring the camera in here, and we're going to take a look. Once in a while, these things are hooked up so wrong that the car runs but doesn't run well. Let, let me show you what's going on. We have, a, we have a, a, a wheel here with four slots, one for each cylinder, and as it passes around, it breaks a, um, it breaks a line of light uh, here in a little bulb in an in a, uh, electric eye in here, and when it breaks, breaks the light, for instance, when the slot here comes around and passes, um, passes through here, then, then, the, uh, then you get a spark out of the ignition coil each time the slot passes through here. Well, then the coil sends the, the electricity into the center of the rotor and it goes out to a spark plug. And those spark plugs, take a look at this cap again, those spark plug wires are on an angle in reference to the clips on the cap. So we've got one here, one here, one here, one here. Nominally, n number one would be here. But let's take a look at our pickup here. Look at our pickup in the slot. Geez, the slot's way, way here. So that means that the slot has to come, whoops, let's go the correct way. The slot has to go all, all the way to here before it breaks. And look at this, it's between it's between the, the points on the underside of the cap. It's between these. So the spark's going to have to jump. And then when the vacuum advance works, it might even pull it farther away. So the car might run great at idle, but then at higher speed, it might start to run really poorly. And you're just going to pull your hair out trying to figure out what's going on. The trick here, the trick is to loosen up these guys here and, and allow the, the eye here to to be right, easy for me to say, in this case the eye is about right here, okay? In other words, we're breaking, see the, the slot here, we're breaking right here and our rotor is pointed up here at 45 degrees um, towards the, the number one point on the cap and at this point here we can tighten this guy up and I gotta get him into here and tighten them up here and then just a second here we'll and these things this thing's way out and I don't like these these are dangling way on the end of all these brackets and stuff doesn't make sense okay so here we go We're about right there that's about as close as we can get and here we go we're tightened up and Now our, our disc doesn't hit the eye, and every time it comes around and, and finds a slot right in the center of the eye, we are pointed at one of the discharge points on, on, on the cap. So I would say that this is probably pretty, pretty good here. And th this will work just fine. So anyway, the point of this is that with this style of ignition, with, with this long, long adjustable bracket, this isn't the case of the Protronics. You don't have the, the option of adjustment on the Protronics. But on the Allisons and later on I think the Cranes, we don't see them too much, uh, you can get them positioned in such a way that when the spark comes up to the rotor that you've got a pickup on the cap on either side and sometimes you'll lose your spark at high speed. And if that is the case, um, this may be one of the reasons that that's going on. So anyway, I hope that was uh, clear. Um, for those of you with the Allison Ignitions, that's a double -L, L I S O N. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys later today or tomorrow uh, to adjust a carburetor.